Hello there, my beautiful collective. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Oh my goodness, Aquarius energy. So maybe some of y'all check out an Aquarius reading. Mm, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Take what's yours and leave what's not. What's the vibe here? Ooh. Six of Cups, High Priestess energy. You could be having some very interesting dreams. Uh, this is like a good, this is a good retrograde energy. So, damn, what are you doing? There's the Eight of Wands. Yeah, that's the message here. So, positive vibes with you. Oh, Aquarius is going through like uh, some stagnation energy here. So, what's up? Eight of Cups there at the Eight of, ooh, look. Yeah, definitely good retrograde read. Ooh, some of y'all that Six of Cups energy. Don't let your emotions overwhelm you. So you could be having to focus more on you to move through a certain sort of energy here. There's almost like a melancholy vibe here. Definitely check out an Aquarius reading. Uh, there's an interesting dynamic as well. Those of you don't mix your emotions here or your emotional connections with the work that you do or some of y'all, you need to be working through your emotions, working through your feelings. So, uh, oh, look at that. You've got triple eight energy. What the fuck's behind that one? Okay. Capricorn energy. Oh, so maybe since the last Capricorn moon that we had, full moon. There's the tower energy. There's the hermit vibe. There's the seven of swords. And there to the queen of cups. Ooh, some of you, there's some energy you need to work through. Someone don't like the fact that you have sort of pulled your emotions back on something. Eight of cups goes in search of the nine of cups. That's the Aquarius star there in the hermit lantern. So, damn. So, someone's all up in their feels because you're not. Uh, that's always good. So, stay focused on that. Over the uh, eight of pentacles, you've got the seven of swords. Yeah, some of y'all avoiding that tower energy, too. Some of y'all could feel that sort of disruptive vibe. Some of you, that's almost like, uh, um, you almost feel that sort of disconnect energy. So, damn. This is that, uh, oh, how do you want to put it? Some of you could feel like you're missing something or you lost something or you kind of feel that sort of uh, uh, release energy comes in when it comes to you. Some of you are working through some sort of emotional manipulation. So someone can't manipulate you anymore. Maybe if you're dealing with the water sign energy, water signs have kind of been going through something interesting on their own. So keep that in mind. There's the nine of pentacles. There's the ten of wands. There's the emperor energy. There's the two of pentacles. Oh, so more of you are doing that work to pull more focus back on yourself to get the sort of upgrades. Some of you could be dealing with someone close to you that kind of wanted to take an opportunity from you or they were kind of using your energy to get this opportunity. But you're the one that did the work. I feel like that emperor energy is you. So you're the one that's making the decisions. You're the one that's uh, deciding and you're kind of bringing this sort of disruptive energy uh, to whatever the fuck it is you're doing. Disruptive energy just kind of feels like retrograde vibes. So you're making choices. You're bringing that balance in. And damn, it makes the difference. Those of you, when it comes to like the, it's like the gravitational force of the moon. So you're not being overwhelmed by an overly emotional uh, situation. Some of y'all are definitely going to feel when that sort of release energy happens. So... Uh, you need to trust something there because a lot of you avoid the tower energy. So some of that tower energy isn't yours. Do be mindful if you're cross-watching. Some of y'all be mindful if someone's cross-watching your energy that uh, you don't sort of pick up that secondary vibe. So some of y'all make sure that you're you're making some healthy choices. What's over the two of pentacles? Oh, the king of cups. 
Uh, some of y'all could be dealing with the wishy-washy energy wanting to come in, but um, over top of that is the Three of Wands to the Four of Pentacles. Lord have mercy. Someone wants to come in with some half-assed uh, opportunity just to keep you stuck. So as you're, if you get like choices and options, those of you, some of y'all with the work that you're doing, some of y'all with regard to a relationship or partnership, what does someone else have to gain from this relationship or partnership with you versus what do they have to offer you? This is like a serious consideration. Are they worth the time, energy, or effort, or would they just be a waste of time? Are they going to gain more from you than what you will ever gain from them? Is this just the, someone wanting to take advantage of this good opportunity with you? Or are you better off kind of doing your own thing? Some of you are going to say no to relationships or partnerships because you're better off doing your own thing. Some of y'all are going to cut out the sort of middleman energy as well. So that way, the decisions you make are the decisions that you make. If someone's watching you, someone's watching them watching you. So for fuck's sake, I don't know your life, but some of y'all be mindful of who the fuck's energy that you are in. Some of you, the seriousness. I mean, does someone really have something to offer you or are they just kind of coming to you to sort of take advantage of you? You've been doing the work here, so there's definitely this upgrade with you. Some of you, as you kind of let go of others, as you kind of make decisions, uh, if you're looking at bringing someone in to sort of work with you or be in your energy, some of you, if you're dating, really being very mindful of, uh, are they really worth the time, energy, or attention? Some of y'all, how needy are they as well? That could be something that's rather interesting with you. It's not lack of opportunities. Um, some of you, it's the quality of. Some of you deciding to do your own thing, go your own way. But you're going to... Uh, you're going to try different things. Some of y'all are going to think about different things. Do you need to have a partner? Should you have a partner? Some of you, when it comes to a job decision, you could be looking at that. Like, is this really going to be beneficial to me? Or are they going to benefit more from being in my energy? This is a good uh, astrological vibe with you as well. So some of you, it's kind of like, do you want a romantic relationship or partnership? Or is this going to be a good working relationship or partnership? Some of y'all be mindful of the X energy once you move away from some of these relationships or partnerships that don't, someone don't just send somebody in on the sly to kind of figure out what the fuck it is you got going on. Especially those of you that don't live your life online, so you are definitely harder to read. Those of you that aren't, aren't on the dating apps. Some of you, when it comes to a work opportunity, uh, you could have a competitor trying to figure out what the fuck you got going on. So some of you be mindful if you are interviewing or you are like uh, uh, looking for a partner or looking to bring on other people to help you do what you do, that you don't have a competitor trying to figure out what the fuck you got going on. So I'm going to be mindful of those romantic uh, sort of opportunities show up that someone isn't just like uh, uh, working for the opposition. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know your life, but I mean, for some of you, there should be a seriousness when it comes to asking that fucking question. So, damn. Something don't work if you don't give to the energy. Something don't work if you kind of allow this the disconnect energy. For some of you, if someone's watching you, someone's watching them watching you. So, you just avoided some sort of karmic fucked up energy anyway. Uh, so, definitely be mindful of uh, when you're dating, how, how someone deals with their exes. Are they still in their ex energy? Are they cross-watching their ex energy? If this is you and someone's still cross-watching your energy, for fuck's sake, get off your socials. Don't let everyone know what the fuck you got going on or just post like things that really aren't of that significance. So, sweet Jesus. Take what's yours, leave what's not. I like the Aquarius vibes on this because I love the energy Aquarius is, but it's more accomplished. This is far more accomplished energy, but moving forward, are you going to be more focused on you or what? You should encompass that four of pentacles, but some of you, if you're dealing with somebody, are they going to be more of a... Uh, an opportunity or are they going to be more of a hindrance when it comes to relationships or partnerships with you? 
Some of you are better off kind of keeping control of what you have and moving forward in baby steps than trying to move too fast with something. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Some of y'all, that could be your Vedic astrology as well. You're definitely doing the work. I like this energy with you. Take what's yours, leave what's not. Those of you encompassing more of that Aries energy. The work pays off, so keep doing the work. But you're the one that decides. So there's plenty of offers and opportunities. So weigh in your options. Some of y'all allowing the better opportunities to come in. Some of y'all, this is kind of allowing the momentum of something to work on your effect too. So there's a little bit of science on this. So I don't feel like there's a whole lot you need to do. Let the energy just kind of dissipate. It's good retrograde vibes. Really good retrograde vibes. So damn. Bottom of the deck. Eight of Wands. There's the Capricorn energy. Don't be surprised. The codependent energy is wanting to come back in. So some of y'all be mindful of new opportunities. Make sure there's no like six degrees of separation from like karmic X energies. Who gets your time, energy, and attention? They're the six of pentacles. Maintain those healthy boundaries. Zero codependency here. So some of y'all are going to do your own thing for a while and take your time before you uh, get to know somebody in the biblical sense. Gaining some karmic uh, credit right here with that seven of pentacles. That's that stagnation energy there at that will of fortune. That's like divine timing energy. So some of you quit trying to rush things, quit trying to make something happen, uh, quit trying to, uh, uh, it's kind of like, let there be an easy pace to this. Some of y'all need to get more in that Aries energy, that emperor energy, so you are able to make better decisions. Some of y'all need to get out of your feels. Some of y'all need to move away from those emotionally codependent relationships or partnerships first, so that way you can make uh, smarter decisions as to who gets your time, energy, and attention. I feel like your astrology is kind of factored in on this for some of you. Those of you that pay attention to it, those of you that uh, that makes sense. I think a lot of you are happily single or you're happily dating. There's not a whole lot of uh, codependent energy when it comes to you. Some of y'all are going to feel that sort of, uh, you're going to feel those tower vibes, but they're not really going to be your tower vibes. So this is like, a, you'll feel that sort of uh, release energy. Some of y'all, there might almost be a little skip in your step. So uh, that could be an indicator that you're kind of on the right path. I don't feel like that's your tower of vibes. So this is definitely moving away from uh, relationships, partnerships you don't need. You're showing up really accomplished, but you have to put forth the time, energy, and effort as well. This is good if you're interviewing, those of you that's looking for work, those of you that are interviewing, uh, maybe people to work in your energy. Some of y'all could be deciding to self-publish, self-produce, or kind of go do your own thing for a while, or do something that you kind, fi kind of find uh, fun and interesting. It's divine timing, so sit your ass down. Go with the flow. Trust your instincts. This is good retrograde vibes too. So however you respond to retrogrades, take what's yours and leave what's not. Damn though, this is beautiful, but you're, you're very mindful here. You're very mindful, which is more appealing. <laughs> which is more appealing to you. So a lot of you, that's what you're looking at. A lot of you are getting out of that codependency and focusing on things that are less uh, uh, sort of stuck or stagnant. Especially when it comes to movement forward with you. Definitely good for calling in uh, better relationships or partnerships. Be they romantic or not. I don't know your energy or what your expectations are. Ace of Wands, Eight of Swords... Four of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Five of Pentacles. 
God, some of y'all got like way too many opportunist energies. Whoever the Page of Swords is, is in Five of Pentacles. So this is a be mindful of the envious energy. Some of y'all be mindful of those that's just trying to take advantage of you. Some of you, that's that sort of uh, vibrational energy here. So be mindful of the contracts that you sign. Some of y'all be mindful of who you're dealing with so that you don't get taken advantage of. Some of y'all could be dealing with someone that might come in with a great offer, but they're actually going to walk away with uh, more than what they showed up in. So definitely be mindful of who somebody does business with, who somebody's been in partnerships with or relationships with. Some of you, these are the professional exes. So uh, they know exactly how much to give, how much time, energy, and effort to put forth to kind of take advantage of a situation. A lot of you, that's that tower vibe energy. There's the Hierophant. There's the Five of Swords. If someone's watching you, someone's watching them watching you. So some of y'all do be mindful of that energy. For a lot of you, there's relationships or partnerships that's falling apart because, yeah, if someone was watching you, someone was watching them watching you, and someone was watching them watching you, you don't know who the fuck is watching who and who the fuck is going to turn on who and who the fuck is going to rat somebody the fuck out, who the fuck's going to do what. So those of you with those messy sort of uh, life situations, stay the fuck out that energy. Definitely don't let that energy kind of uh, interfere with the decision making you got going on either. So you start dating somebody, kind of figure out a little bit about their ex energy, how they respond to their exes, what their connections are when it comes to their ex's energy. Work, love, life, business on this, whatever the fuck this is. Damn, look at y'all go here. Take what's yours, leave what's not. Watch your favorite astrologer. Uh, the choice is yours when it comes to relationships or partnerships. There's this sort of beautiful lovers of vibe or you got the sort of Capricorn energy down there. Some of you need to just be mindful of the choices that you're making. So if you're cross-watching, don't cross-watch so much that you bring that energy on. Some of y'all be mindful of who you are dealing with and how they've sort of... Uh, treat their partners and their relationships or partnerships. Some of y'all, I feel like some of those relationships or partnerships, people are getting, uh, uh, the dynamics are changing. So who's ratting out who and who's doing what? So don't get caught up in this energy as well. This is that if someone's watching you, someone's watching them watching you. And then they could have someone watching them, watching them, watching you, or however the fuck, however elaborate this energy is. Uh, you need to simplify that shit. So be mindful of the static energy. Be mindful of the static energy here. Take what's yours, leave what's not, and don't focus on the unnecessary. This is like the satellite energy as well. So some of y'all make sure that you're uh, allowing yourself... Some sort of like a release energy here. So this is like staying grounded, staying focused. Some of y'all, maybe you're listening to like some white noise or the Schumann resonance or something that kind of brings you clarity. Don't get stuck in this energy because some of you, I feel like there's relationships or partnerships where people are getting played and that energy is kind of uh, sending that vibrational energy out. So do be mindful of that. So take what's yours, leave what's not. Some of y'all be mindful of that cross-watching energy so you don't kind of bring that energy on yourself. This is like a cleanser palette energy as well. So, you know, sage or whatever the fuck you do to kind of uh, get rid of the stagnant energy you don't need. Mm. Good luck. God bless. Take what's yours and leave the rest. This is endings, new beginnings. This is moving away from uh, relationships or partnerships that had some sort of emotional connection or some sort of emotional tie with you. There are relationships or partnerships falling apart around you. Uh, I don't think that has anything to do with you, but some of you be mindful of the cross-watcher readings. 
the tower energy for a lot of you is just going to kind of feel like a hiccup energy or you could almost, it's almost like a sense of uh, maybe you feel like you're missing something or you get that sort of energy of, hmm, it just feels different. But I feel like that isn't your tower energy, but you kind of feel that sort of release energy as well. So I mean, all that could be a good fart or a good fucking burp. And you're just like, oh man, I feel so much better. So, take what's yours and leave what's not, right? This is the energy that you're kind of teetering in, which is uh, not that dramatic, because most people have these choices anyway. So, I love that for you. Take what's yours, leave what's not. Keep doing the clearing work. So, whatever you use to sort of uh, cleanse the energy. Some of you human resonance or white noise energy or uh, whatever sort of... Uh, you use the kind of, uh, it's kind of like relax. Some of y'all could like that sort of static energy. Uh, you could like the sort of uh, weird ass um, uh, hertz or frequencies or like the static. I don't know. This is whatever works for you to keep your energy clear. A lot of satellite energy. So don't pick up on energies that aren't yours either. So do be mindful if you're cross watching. Good luck, God bless, take what's yours, leave the rest. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Peace, love, and light.